millions of people cross borders in Europe every year, and with the enlargement of the EU and increased threats from international organized crime and terrorism, border security has never been more important. EFISEC, which stands for Efficient Integrated Security Checkpoints, is a security research project funded by the European Commission as part of their seventh framework program for research. Its aim is to deliver more effective and efficient technology at land and maritime border checkpoints. EFISEC comprises 16 different organizations from nine EU countries, including SMEs, research organizations and large companies. This project is aiming to develop new technologies in the area of illicit material detection, identification of persons or modern video analytics. The goal of FISEC is not to show different technologies working separately. The goal is to show that they are working better together in an integrated manner and ensure more security and facilitate the life of the border officers. The project culminates with two demonstrations at opposite ends of Europe at the maritime port of Lisbon in Portugal and at the Albisa land border crossing in Romania. Romania, an EU member state and Schengen area candidate country, has the second largest external land border in the EU. Albita stands on the border between Romania and the non-EU state of Moldova. The demonstration at Albita shows the technology that EFISEC has developed for vehicle border crossing scenarios. Before the vehicle arrives at the first line of checks, the number plate is automatically read and images of the vehicle are analysed. Before a vehicle arrives at the checkpoint, an automated video analysis system developed by the University of Reading detects the colour, the shape and the make and model of the vehicle. This means that by the time the vehicle arrives at the checkpoint, by cross-checking those details with the national database, the border guard knows, for example, whether the vehicle has been stolen or not. The video analysis system also detects a range of suspicious events. These can include, for example, if a person leaves a vehicle, an object is abandoned by the vehicle, or indeed if the vehicle drives off before the checks are completed. The data collected from the video analysis is then interpreted by a system as part of the central site developed by Italian company Celex ES. Celex ES has developed a system in order to collect vehicle analysis data and uh, suspicious events. All the events are recorded into the system in order to provide uh, post-event investigation functionality. For instance, if an object uh, is thrown out of the vehicle, the system uh, uh, detects the event, triggers uh, an alert, and presents to the operator uh, a close-up view of the object. The vehicle then moves to the first line of control, where identity checks are undertaken using new mobile devices. We at Morpho have developed two mobile devices for border officers to speed up the vehicle flow at border crossing points. Because they are two mobile devices, passengers inside the vehicle don't have to get out of the vehicle. The first device is used by the border officer to read the biometric passport. The second mobile device is passed inside the vehicle where the travellers scan both their fingerprints and face. The data collected is sent to the central site where it's cross-checked against data from the biometric passport and national databases. The biometric comparisons are performed by a multimodal biometric system built by Thales. If the biometric data collected does not match the passport, the border guard is notified via their handheld device. If any suspicions are raised about the vehicle or its occupants, customs officials then use two systems, MSED and Essex, which are designed to detect traces of explosives. MSED has been developed by the Spanish SME, CEDEM. MSED is a high sensitivity and resolution explosive vapor detector based on mass spectrometry, differential mobility analysis and low flow SESI. It's capable of detecting small amounts of explosive in the range of tens of picograms, which make it perfectly suited for many challenging applications, like luggage and vehicle screening in security points. If vapors of explosive are present in the filter, the results will be shown on the screen of the, of the M set and then sent to the central site. The second explosive detection system, called ESSEX, has been developed by FOI, the Swedish Defence Research Agency. ESSEX is a system that's developed for explosive trace detection and it's based on 
laser ionization mass spectrometry. The benefits are, is that uh, it provides a seamless process for collecting the samples, both in particle form and also in vapor form, and giving an alert uh, directly on site. It can be used both for checking uh, particle traces on luggage, also it can be used in, in cars, looking for particles on surface and also vapors that is present in the vicinity. In this way we can cover a wide range of, uh, range of different explosives. And when we get an alert for the presence of the explosives, uh, this uh, information will be sent to the central site and reason for further investigation of the vehicle. Once again, data from these checks is sent to the central site, and if an alert is triggered, the vehicle is directed to a second line of control, where more extensive checks are carried out. Here, customs officials first use the R detector, which is capable of detecting traces of radioactive material. The vehicle is then directed onto an X-ray scanning system developed by Smith's Detection. Smith's Detection develops during this project a vehicle scanning system. It scans vehicles to find bombs, guns and improvised explosive devices. The key of this system is the energy generator. It's 300 keV positioned in the top of the system and the focus beam will scan the car from the top to the bottom. The reason for that is to get good images without distortion. Here, the vehicle X-ray has revealed an explosive device hidden within the car. In the past, if customs officers had suspicions about a vehicle, they'd have to dismantle it piece by piece. But with this X-ray system, they're able to pinpoint specific areas to search, saving a huge amount of time. All the data from the identity checks, the explosives trace detectors and the vehicle scanner is not sent to separate control systems manned by different officers, but to one central site, meaning decisions can be made much quicker, thereby increasing the flow of vehicles across the border. The central site system has been developed by TALIS. One of the main innovations in the FSEC project is that very diversified system, such as biometric, X-ray vehicle scanning system or also explosive detection are integrated into one central site. And the central site allows all the information to be displayed on one single screen. It makes the decision of border crossing for border authorities much easier. The port of Lisbon in Portugal was chosen to demonstrate the border crossing scenarios for pedestrians. The port is a busy terminal for cruise ships and with up to three large ships in port every day, the fast, efficient and secure flow of passengers is essential. Firstly, luggage is analysed for traces of explosives, again using the MZ and Essex detection devices. The person then proceeds to the radiometric camera and follows the instructions. The camera is the brainchild of MC2 Technologies. Millicam 90 is a radiometric camera which has been created and developed by MC2 Technologies. This innovative system is able to detect hidden objects under clothes, such as a weapon or explosive, liquids or solids, and metals or ceramics. It's completely passive, so there's no emission and no radiation from the camera so it's completely safe for the user and for the passengers. It can provide an automatic detection which is very helpful for the user. Here you can see that the radiometric camera has automatically detected that the person is carrying a concealed weapon. The pedestrian's luggage is then placed on the conveyor belt to be x-rayed. This device, developed by Multix, is far more sensitive than traditional machines. Multix has developed a state-of-the-art spectrometric X-ray detectors suitable for luggage scanner applications. These spectrometric detectors offer 64 to 128 energy bands, let's say colors, whereas conventional systems are just dealing with two energy bands. This offers the main advantages in terms of uh, material discriminations, since we can uh, better discriminate, let's say, explosive compared with benign materials. And in addition, these detectors offer an improved image quality in terms of resolution penetration. The final stage of the pedestrian journey, the automated e-gates, have been developed by the partnership of Thales and Sicaliance. Before the entrance uh, in the e-gate, 
the passenger have to check his passport. There are three types of data checked in the kiosk, MRZ information, printed information, and data embedded in the chip. If uh, the passport is detected as a correct passport, not a false passport or a stolen passport, the information are sent to the eGate. For EFISEC, Thales has created a new eGate for land border. It has three main advantages. Firstly, security with multimodal biometric authentication of the traveler, fingerprint, and face recognition. Secondly, security with smart sensor to verify that the traveler is alone in the gate. Thirdly, it is much more robust and easier to maintain, so it is more suitable for land border where the environment is less controlled than airport. If the biometric data for fingerprints and face recognition matches the data on the scanned passport, the e-gate opens automatically and the pedestrian is free to cross the border. However, if the passport scan does not match results from the biometric tests, the pedestrian is not allowed to pass and an alarm is displayed on the screen of the e-gate supervision station. The border officer can then open the entry gate and guide the pedestrian for further investigation. One of the key aims of EFISEC is to improve the working conditions of border officials. The demonstrations at both Albita and Lisbon have given the police and customs a chance to see the technology developed as part of EFISEC in action. This EFISEC project are a good opportunity for us to see which is the level of the technology now, which are the possibilities of the industry to offer us different solutions to our needs. With this technology we'll be able to, to take better decisions and we'll be able to have better control, an increased level of control. This technology will provide us a safer environment, a better life. At our terminals, uh, we receive uh, cruise ships with uh, an average of uh, 5,000 persons, and we need uh, very good equipment so people can pass quickly, but in an effective way, and a secure way for the port and for the ship. From what I've seen today, I consider the center site to have real potential. The Port of Lisbon is going to build a new cruise terminal in this place, Santa Polonia. We could join in the same room the Port Authority, the Customs, the Border Police and the Maritime Police, taking decisions in a more effective and quicker way. All 16 partners involved in the EFISEC project have worked hard to transform the way that border security can work for police and customs. There's no doubt that the technological advancements made can be rolled out across Europe in the future, helping to make borders in the EU more efficient and far more secure. <laughs>